Today we're gonna to be going over setting up a search campaign with responsive ads. So let's get in the training. Finally, it's time to create our first ad. And so let's get started. So as you can see right here, there is nothing set up in no current ads running right now. And so I'm on overview. I go ahead and hit new campaign. We're going to go for leads and we're doing a search campaign to start out with. So the goals for this campaign is going to be lead form submissions and phone calls. So we'll put our client's phone number in this spot here. We'll also check lead form submissions and go ahead and hit continue and we'll get started. Oh, okay, I don't need, I don't need, I don't need. Okay, okay, leave the guy. All right, so the first, we're, this campaign name is gonna be just our generic campaign. So we're just gonna do Glenpool, dentistry and i'm going to uncheck both of these we are going to be doing our own display campaign later so i'm going to uncheck both of these search networks is good as well it, it just takes you outside of google it shows your ads more but i just prefer to start out with google only and then spread it out from there so a couple things that will go down here to locations now this is up to you this is where where does your target audience live is it in america is it in just your state is it just in your town is it 60 mile radius 90 mile radius this is where you set up who you want to target but first thing first very important or you'll waste a lot of money here go to location options and right here the natural selection is presence or interest in people in regularly in or have shown interest in your target relocations this is recommended i don't know why i've even had phone calls with google directly and that's the first thing they say is well change that and so that's what we do from now on We're, we what happens here is if you leave this checked you get a lot of clicks from india afghanistan wherever that don't apply to you yet you're paying five ten dollars per click so we're keeping these out of here so we're just going to do people in or regularly in the target location and now enter your target location so it's very important that you do not forget to click that it's just you're gonna spend just 20 30 40 50 dollars here and there every month on wasted clicks that could have been a potential client so for us we are just going to be doing a specific location because there were a dentist office and we're going to be doing a radius targeting and blend pool you can usually find if you have a gmb which you should have a GMB, but your Google My Business will pop up here in your radius target. And if you don't have a Google My Business, that's um, that's more important than ad spend. It really is. And so make sure you check out our trainings on Google My Business and get you set up with that. Your local search, your organic local search is always going to win over ads because when it comes to ads, a, a successful campaign in Google Ads is getting a one two three percent click through rate so there's still 97 percent of people that search for a for instance dentist in glenpool they're searching that term yet they are not clicking the ad they're going down to find what real people are <laughs> what the real websites are not the ones that are paying for it and so if you're like me i typically do not click the top that says ad next to it i scroll down to find the website i'm looking for especially if it's a local lo location or better yet yeah, you find it on the maps and that's what your Google My Business will help you with is showing up on the maps in the search locally search is going to be geo targeting your area when it comes to people searching for dentists it's going to target those close to you already and so Google My Business you don't have, have one, one get one so for us, we don't really go 20 miles. That's just too far. People aren't going to travel that far for a dentist, ideally, especially in a big city like Tulsa, where there's gonna be many dentists here. So I'm just gonna go down to, let's do eight mile here. Back to advanced search. I can change my radius, go eight miles, hit save. And that's narrowed down my audience here. So a couple things that, that helps us with is we would still get clicks for people 20 miles away, but the ideal of them actually converting into a client of ours of this particular case is not likely. They're gonna be passing 15, 20 dentist's offices on their way to this dentist's office. And so, uh, though it is possible, it's not likely. And when it comes to spending 10 or $15 a click, that's not what we're gonna to wanna to focus on. We want, we want to target down to who will 
show up for us. And so eight mile radius, that's what we're going to start off targeting. Uh, I'll show you a campaign that we use in the next video that will broaden out our search. It's, it's a more of a top of the funnel when it comes to finding an audience. Uh, this ad particular that we're making is more bottom of the, bottom of the funnel. They're buy now audience. They're wanting a dentist near me. I need to go to the dentist. My teeth hurt, you know, something like that. And so they are looking to buy now. And so this click is more valuable and that's why they cost more. And so that's why it's important to target the right people when it comes to this. And so we're going to enter $25 a day and it's adding a call extension for us and we can add some more extensions and we will later, but I'll go into that in more detail later. Save and continue. All right. So ad group name. So go ahead and name this ad group that we are targeting. So this is just Glenpool area. Ah, my goodness, I'm getting all these. Leave it, leave it. Glenpool area and the keywords. So you can do a couple things. You can put in your website, which is a good idea to start. Put in your website, see what kind of keywords pop with your website and see what kind of keywords don't make sense. That kind of tells you a couple things. What Google already thinks your website is and you know, what is actually valuable to you. So dental implants, dentist open near me, affordable dental, smile dental clinic. Smile is a name of a dental clinic, I believe. I'm gonna take that out. Cheap dentist near me, family, family dental care. They are not uh, for children. So here's a couple just to start off with that Google's already picked. I'm gonna go ahead and save and continue. We'll go back in and refine these later. Uh, fix errors. Google doesn't like the word clinic. It is against their policy. So everything here that has clinic, I'm going to take out for these three top ones hit continue. Okay. And now here's where we create the ad. So what we typically do here, what's auto populating is responsive search ads. And so these ads you're going to give, you know, five, eight or so different headline options. And you can see over here, it's showing three potential options and two potential descriptions at a time. And so Google is going to learn which ads are more likely to get clicked based on people clicking the ad. So over time, Google's going to start showing the headlines. It's going to mix and match until it finds the perfect combination for you. So it used to be, and it still can be where you have multiple different ads trying to AB test, which is working. Google's kind of put that into their process here with responsive search ads. And so, uh, where's a couple ads we're going to do here and it'll give you some options. So we're going to do, um, dentist office. So you're just going to go through, add all your keywords here, add your final URL as well. Like some of you might be taking them to a landing page. Maybe you have an ad for a specific service. And so instead of going to the home page and having them take an extra click to the service page, run the ad directly to the service page. Maybe you create a unique page that is not affiliated with your website at all, but it just helps people and, and capture their location or capture their information on a form specifically on this page. Those kind of landing pages or squeeze pages is something that you can do as well. Just make sure you put the correct final URL here in the ads for you. So once you've got some keywords in here that you like, Obviously I'm going to go in here later at get some more ideas, more popular keywords and try to get this score to at least average or above average, but go ahead and hit save and continue. So there you have it. We've created our first ad. You can go up here to kind of the middle top area where we hit more details. You can go edit and settings and we can just change any of the things that we did uh, that we want to. If we wanted to add them into the search partners, we can do it there. Um, if you want to change your bidding strategy to conversions to clicks, So let's say you didn't have access to your tag manager and I wouldn't know why, but if you didn't have access to a tag manager, you can go to clicks, you can set a max cost per click and kind of go from there. And in the next video, we're going to go over our keyword research and some ways to find some ideas of in a, in a budget of how much it would cost to target specific things. And so we can set a max keyword. Like I don't want to spend more than $9 per click, something like that. Um, that is all possible here, but again, we're targeting conversions. This is going to help us out in the long run. You set your dates, you can set your conversion action that we are tracking, but there you have it. There's ad set one that we'll create. 
In the next video, we'll take a look at keywords and adding those into this current ad. And then we'll create an audience and do a display ad as well. So we'll see you guys in the next one.